Um, hey guys, can you hear me? If you can just uh, acknowledge me in the chat or something, if you can hear me, am I audible to you? Yeah, okay. What about others? It's not just Shruti, right, present in the class. We have a few more people. So am I audible to you also? Sushma, Rajnandini, Bharti. It would be great if all of you would acknowledge. OK. Rajnandini, Bharti, are you there? OK, all right. Um, I want to know uh, how many of you, like this is your first session that you have joined. I think I am not sure with all of you, but anyone who is here for the very first time? Rajnandini, Sushma, Shruti, Bharti. Is this uh, your very first session attending in the online session? A yes or no would be great, guys, rather than me just waiting for your replies for minutes altogether. A yes or no. Yours is for, OK. This is Shruti's first session. Uh, what about others? People who just joined, Samruti, Darshana, Shittija, no. So apart from Shruti, anybody who is uh, joining you for the very first time, Darshana Samruddhi, is this your first session by any chance? This is your Bharti, this is your first session, so is Shruti. What about Darshana and Samruddhi? I would like uh, you guys to please put it in the chat if this is your first session or not. Is this the very first session that you are attending or have you uh, attended? No, Samruddhi says this is not her first session. What about Darshana? Then I'm assuming it's just Shruti and Bharti. OK, so Shruti and Bharti, uh, let's go first with Shruti. Uh, I would like you to introduce yourself. Uh, like, you know, what college do you belong to? What uh, engineering course you are doing? And what are your hobbies? Just the three basic things. So I want you to unmute yourself, Shruti. Next, Bharti will go. And I want you to um, introduce yourself. I'll start. And, if you want me to. So my name is Mamta, and I will be uh, your trainer for the entire conversational AI course. And I have done my engineering from uh, Diva International University. And my hobbies are reading and writing and listening to music. So you go next, Shruti. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Uh, my name is Kuti Sitaram Darekar, and uh, I am studying at uh, ISQR IT, uh, it's been, uh, International Institute of Information Technology in Zaudi. And mm -hmm. my hobbies are dancing, singing, and uh, uh, riding the bikes. OK. And what uh, year of engineering are you currently in? What uh, semester? In last year, uh, eighth semester. Oh, that's great. Cool. All the best for the uh, final sem going on. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, Bharti, you go next. Hi, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Bharati from uh, Hyderabad. I'm studying in Vignans Women's College, BTEC, Engineering third year. Currently, I'm third year, second semester, ma'am. OK, third year, second semester. And what uh, course of engineering are you doing? Technology, ma'am. OK, IT? That's great. Yeah. School, yes, what are your hobbies? Hobbies, my hobbies are painting and uh, dancing, ma'am. That's great, amazing. So we have uh, only two, Shruti and Bharti. Anyone else who is oh, like, present here for the very, very first time? Apart from Shruti and Bharti, anyone? Uh, if I just look at the participants, I might know a few. Uh, Gayatri, Avantika. Then we have Shweta. Is this uh, your first session, guys? A yes or no would be good to go. No, ma'am. 
no okay all right so then i think all of us okay not an issue so then i think all of us are like known to each other so we can just start off with today's session i hope uh, everybody saw my messages on discord and is ready with whatever we are going to have in today's session let me just be very clear uh, in the next session that we'll be having the coming friday uh, we'll be taking all hands on in the session so when i say hands on i would be giving you problem statements and you would have to solve it for me and show so uh, the entire 2 hours will be elixir skills hands on so i would be expecting you guys to actually uh, you know go through how to create an elixir skill in the course and then if you have any issues anything that is not working on all bring it in the session but in the next session we'll be doing hands on so you will be sharing your screen i'll pick any random person and every single person in the um, session will get a chance to share their screen and do some problem statements with us i'll have multiple problem statements we'll be distributing them in teams for you so just make sure when you come in the next session you are well prepared with uh, the chapters that i'll be putting on discord so on that note i will just try to share my screen with you guys let's start off with the first storytelling for today mm -hmm. in a previous session we spoke about ai in gaming we had a look at how artificial intelligence is used in gaming mm -hmm. today we'll just have a look at ai in cyber security can anybody tell me what does this term cyber security actually mean what is cyber secure are we protecting the internet or what what is cyber security the answer should be coming from you today so what is cyber security mm -hmm. i have heard of it maybe online or while watching any shows or something so what is cyber security internet protecting our accounts internet protecting so we are not protecting internet internet is protecting our accounts is it yeah okay surali says internet protecting our accounts anything anyone wants to add anything protecting internet from cyber threats protecting internet from cyber threats so internet is a person or something what do you think she said internet protecting our accounts you were telling in uh, protecting internet from cyber threats so anybody else who wants to tell me what is cyber security okay computer security also called as cyber security the protection of computer systems and information from harm theft and unauthorized use okay uh, that's a great way of actually putting it or framing it. Mm -hmm. So if I just combine all the three of your answers, um, cyber security refers to the practice of protecting computer systems, networks, and the digital information that you are saying from theft, yes, damage, and any unauthorized access. So any third party or any third person or second person should not be able to access our information. It involves combination of technologies, processes, and practices to safeguard against cyber threats. Uh, you said protecting the internet from threats. So yes, to safeguard it against cyber threats. Uh, various cyber threats are hacking, malware, phishing, and other forms of cyber attacks. So protecting our online or offline existing and privacy from hackers, protecting critical system and sensitive information, yeah. So artificial intelligence being used in cybersecurity. AI has like revolutionized, has changed the, uh, you know, uh, the cybersecurity in a lot of ways, literally a lot of ways. If you have a look at the statistics going on, so according to a report by uh, Allied Market Research, the global market for AI in cybersecurity is expected to reach around the $30.9 billion uh, by 2025. So uh, in 2018, the CAGR, the annual CAGR was around 23.3%. So now it has been uh, growing a lot. And by 2025, it is expected to reach to a target value of $30.9 billion by then. Capgemini, you might have heard of this company a lot. So a survey by Capgemini found out that around 69% of the organizations believe that AI will be necessary to respond to cyber attacks in the upcoming years. How and what? We'll just have a look at them. 
The same Capgemini survey also found out that 60% of the organizations have already implemented AI in their cybersecurity strategies. You go to so many colleges and all, you give them uh, your data, you know, all the information while you are maybe taking admissions or maybe while you are, you know, filling the fees, annual fees and all of that. So you give them a lot of data. So in order to protect that data from hacking, malware and everything, AI has been implemented into your schools, organizations. According to a report by Forbes, the use of AI in cybersecurity is expected to grow 23% annually through 2023. So if you see 2023 is the year where AI is at its peak, around 23% of increase of usage of AI in cybersecurity is expected. Uh, a report by Markets and Minds found that around uh, that uh, the AI in cybersecurity market is expected to grow from around $8.8 .8 billion in 2020 to $38.2 billion by 2026. So if you see the margin is a lot. So all of these actually hints to the fact that AI being used in cybersecurity is yet another boon. AI in cybersecurity can be used to uh, you know, uh, have a look at various aspects. Like one of them is threat detection. You guys mentioned a few of them. Uh, threats and then theft, unauthorized use, etc. So I've just named a few of them. Threat detection. AI, when you use it in cybersecurity, it can analyze vast amounts of data and detect patterns and anomalies that indicate potential threats. Uh, we might be irritated at times when we log in into our Google account through different uh, systems, and then uh, Google just is like, is this you? Is this you logging in? We might be irritated at that point of time, but that is for our own security purposes. So this allows the security teams to identify and respond to threats more quickly and efficiently. So the system IP address is also taken into consideration. Fraud detection. AI can detect fraudulent activity, maybe credit card fraud by analyzing transactions and identifying any suspicious behavior. International transactions. Let's say your current location is in India and some, some uh, person is doing an international transaction and all. So the bank immediately tries to call you and tries to ask, is this you who is doing the transaction? If yes, then it's OK. It's good to go. But if not, then they'll ask you to, uh, you will have to ask them to block your card, and it is done in minutes. Use authentication. AI can be used for biometric authentication, such as face recognition, voice recognition, to ensure that only authorized users have access to sensitive data. If you see your phone uh, as well, you have a face lock. So AI is used over there. Isn't that another case of cybersecurity? If someone else has access to your phone, you never know what they are going to actually take from your phone. So face recognition activities are also a part of AI being used in cybersecurity. Malware detection. AI can detect malware by analyzing file behavior and identifying suspicious code or activity. Last but not the least comes is vulnerable management. AI can be used to scan networks and identify vulnerabilities that could be exploited by attackers, you know, allowing the security teams to prioritize and patching and immediate uh, remediation efforts. So all of these things uh, are, you know, like taken care of when you make sure that AI has been installed in your cybersecurity system. Now, if you look at the different headlines coming in, so there was one great headline by Information Security Buzz, the revolutionizing power of AI in cybersecurity. And actually, uh, you know, was talking about how AI is essential in cybersecurity, including all the things that we just read, you know, protecting data, protect uh, like theft and all, data breaching, preventing unauthorized user access, etc. When, you, when it comes to business, you know, cyber attacks is really common. The data breaches is really common. That is the reason why 60% of the organizations have actually switched to using AI in um, uh, cybersecurity so that their data breach does not happen and, you know, everything goes smoothly. So this enables business to take prompt action to prevent or mitigate the impact of cyber attack when they actually use AI in their daily life. So that was just one use case for today, that uh, AI being used in cybersecurity. We'll have a few more use cases in the upcoming sessions. Now, if we talk about what today's session has for us, today's session has introduction to Alexa. I hope uh, everybody saw the message in the Discord group, and we know what we are going to discuss today. And I also had mentioned in the Discord group that um, you will have to create a skill for today's session, Alexa skill. 
So has everybody created the Alexa skill? Is what uh, my first question is before I even start today's session. I had like made it in italics and bold, whatever things I could put. Uh, let me know. Has everyone created an Alexa skill? This is what I had pasted in the Discord group, just in case if somebody did not read it. Yes or no, guys? Have you created an Alexa skill? Because you will be required to show the Alexa skill today at the end of the session. So yes or no, if have you created an Alexa skill? People are just wondering, if somebody say no, then I will say no. Please start off. If you have created, just go ahead and put a yes. If no, let's have a no. Let's have a count of how many people have actually no. OK. Others, there are literally like 25 people. Why are just two to three people replying? Yes, Swarali. Oh, no, ma'am. I wanted to open my chat box. By mistake, I rose. OK, not an issue. So go ahead. No. OK. Others. Have we created a chatbot skill? Uh, sorry, have we created an Alexa skill? No. Nobody has created. Why don't we, guys, why don't we follow any of the Discord messages? Neither do I receive any of the homeworks that I have given, nor from the previous session, nor from this batch of conversational AI. Why is that? Are the homeworks taking a lot of time? I don't think so, because it's just creating a report or just barely some part of code. We don't have much. Uh, I mean, we don't have a homework that lasts for three weeks or three days or something. It's just a small part of revision that you will have to do. This course and these sessions are only taken to benefit you, you all. Like if you have learned about it in the course, then you can actually come here and have a revision. This entire training session that we are taking for you is just a revision of what you have done in the conversational AI or in the basics of AI. So if something important has been mentioned on Discord that you have to do and come and people who are not uh, you know, following any of the Discord message will not be entertained in this session throughout. So please make sure, this is the last time I'm saying, when we meet in the next session, to people who have just joined, when we meet in the next session, that is the next Friday, you are expected to create an Alexa skill. You are expected to go through the chapters that are actually given, that are actually mentioned that you have to go through. Go through them. They are not big. And uh, even if they are, uh, you have your vacations going on, most of you, right? Even if the vacations is not going on, we are still, you know, like adults now. And multitasking should be like, our day-to-day -day life goals. So please make sure the next Friday when we meet, we have an Alexa skill created because of two things. One, you will be needed to showcase it in front of the entire batch of students. Two, we'll be having hands-on. In the next session, there will be no PPT, no slides, nothing. I will be giving you some problem statements, some skills to create, and you will have to actually create it and show it to me. If you have any doubts, if something is not working, please ping us on Discord. Don't just let it marinate in uh, you know, your uh, uh, computer that, OK, this is the doubt. I'll ask it whenever uh, I get time. Don't do that. So next time, whenever, today only, today or max tomorrow, I'll just put in the chapters required for the next Friday session. So you will have a week. So throughout that week, I want you to go through those chapters, figure out if you have any doubts. Please ping it, ping, ping to me on Discord or to Hamza ma'am so we can help you out. But in the next session, we are supposed to have an Alexa skill created. I hope I'm clear. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? In the next session, what is to be done? A yes or no again would be a good to go because I do not understand the a pen drop silence being a yes or no. All right, cool. So today then we'll just have some theory part since no hands-on has been done. So before we start off, some of you guys were new, I guess, in today's session. So guys, mm -hmm. we have a Discord channel wherein we connect, wherein we do all the quizzes, wherein we just share the homework. And uh, we also share some important activities over there. So I request you to, people who are new, I request you to please click on the Discord link and join it as soon as possible. Two of you were there, Shruti and Bharti. Apart from there, if there is anyone, please just go ahead and try to um, uh, join the Discord channel. That's it.
Now, coming to uh, anybody who had missed the previous session. So if you have missed any of the previous sessions, we have it uploaded on YouTube as well. So there you go. That's the YouTube link. You can just uh, subscribe and turn on the notifications, whatever. And uh, you will get the notifications every time we upload a video. And if you want the recording of any previous video, just write the name of the particular course it was for. And you will be able to find. You will be able to find basics of AI and conversational AI, both mm -hmm. of them. So if we just have a quick recap from the previous session, we spoke about what is conversational AI. We also spoke about what are the uses of conversational AI and the design considerations. Design, uh, design considerations, we spoke about UI, UX, and everything. Mm -hmm. Today, what we are going to do is we are going to understand a few important skills, uh, a few important topics. Where we'll be understanding what is Alexa, what are the uses of Alexa. We are focusing on Alexa for conversational mm -hmm. AI. What is the skill and how to create the skill? Mm -hmm. So technically, how to create the skill was supposed to be a hands-on activity mm -hmm. for today as well. But since uh, none of you actually created it, so we'll just have a theory session mm -hmm. for it. So whatever hands-on remains from today's session, we'll carry it forward to the next session. So if we start off, a simple question from my side to you would be, what is this Alexa? If you can just summarize it in just one line, of yours you can quickly put it in the chat or you can unmute yourself and tell me what is this alexa mm -hmm. how can you relate it with conversational ai how can you relate it with the topic that we did in uh, last friday session mm -hmm. what's alexa shitija come on what's alexa now i think i'll have to randomly pick up people what's alexa so virtual. I only could do your virtual. Alexa is a small AI tool, OK? What about Sakshi? What is Alexa? Alexa is a small AI tool. Alexa is a cloud-based voice service developed by Amazon. Uh, I am saying Alexa is a chatbot. Do you guys agree with me or not? Is Alexa a chatbot? Simple, we give input, it gives output, OK? So is Alexa a chat bot? I am asking. Viraj Nandini says yes. What about others? Do you guys agree with me? Is Alexa a chat bot? OK. Or do you actually chat with Alexa? When I say chat bot, do you text Alexa? Chatting is different, right? When I say chat bot, there are two different things, chat bot and voice bot and etc. So is Alexa a chatbot or a voice bot? I don't see any answers from the other 20 people. Until and unless I get the answer from other 20 people, I'm not moving ahead. We can give voice commands. OK. Voice bot. So it is not a chatbot since one, two, three, four of you are saying it's a voice bot. What about others? So many, Pooja, Sai, Sakshi, Samiksha, Navya, Vaishnavi, Komal, Kushi. So many people and just five people answering. Why is that? A voice assistant. OK. Mm -hmm. So Alexa is not a chatbot. Alexa mm -hmm. is a virtual assistant, voice assistant developed by Amazon. And it is capable of voice interaction. It is also capable of music playbacks. It is also capable of making to-do lists, as I just realized, setting alarms, streaming podcasts, playing audio books, providing weather, traffic information, sports information, and other real-time information. It also, in, uh, in addition to it, it also does uh, smart, home control, uh, smart home devices controlling part. It is powered by AI and NLP that allows it to understand and respond to voice commands, which are spoken by users. So now that everyone knows what is Alexa, mm -hmm. I would like every single person over here to attempt a quiz. Since uh, now, let's see, you have mm -hmm. not really done a skill. So I'll have to make sure that we are not going into the questions of skill. OK. So for the quiz, everyone, I want you to be on Discord channel. So I can see only six people. 
so i want every single person to be on the discord channel right now so that we can actually take up a quiz quickly people who are new on the discord channel on the left hand side you might see various uh, uh, channels so one of the channels i'll just put in a hi for everyone just go there so that is your training sessions channel wherein we'll be putting all the homework as well as all the quizzes all right so i hope everybody is present i can still see only nine of you what about the other 20 people present over here mm -hmm. guys i want all the 20 people mm -hmm. present over here to be online on discord right away I can only see Amantika, Darshna, Janvi, Shitija, Anirmita, Rakshita, Samruddhi, Shruti, Sushma, and Swara. That's it. What about the other 15 people that mm -hmm. we have? No, they won't even respond. Why is that? How to go? Uh, are you on Discord? Sorry. If you are on Discord on the left hand side, you should be able to see channels. Uh, are you on the Discord channel? First of all, are you on our Discord channel? Do you uh, have Discord installed and are you on, our, uh, on the Discord channel? No? Okay. So I'll just share the Discord link once again for the new people. There you go. Please install Discord and try to quickly join mm -hmm. um, the link that I have shared. It will take you to the link. Cool, I think Shruti and Bharti, I cannot see Bharti. Bharti, can you please join since you are also here for the very first time. Please click on the link and try to join as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. I can still see barely 12 people. And in the session, we are almost 28. Mm -hmm. So I'll mark the attendance today. I'll only mark the attendance for people who mm -hmm. actually are present on Discord. Today, I won't be sharing uh, the attendance sheet then. I'll just take a screenshot in a couple of minutes of people who are online on Discord. And that's it. That will be the attendance for today. Cool. I think everybody is present so on Discord. So I'll just quickly taking a screenshot of all the 14 of you present. And that's it. There we have the attendance for today. Cool, so I'm just sharing the very first question. Mm -hmm. There you go, guys, question number one. So these are just simple questions since uh, no skills have been involved so far. So what type of device is Alexa? A smartphone, a smart speaker, a laptop, a TV. Most of you are going for the option B. Okay. Okay. All right. So Alexa is a type of smart speaker. So we can say it is a voice device. Let's go to the question number two. What company makes Alexa? Could have been made Alexa, but okay. So what company made Alexa? Amazon, 
Okay. What company made Siri? Amazon made Alexa. What company made Siri? Apple. Apple. Uh, do you guys know about Sophia? Do you know what company made Sophia? Sophia was uh, is also a robot. It's a robot. Uh, it's not a conversational AI, like not something like C uh, Siri and Sin Robotics. Okay, Facebook. Okay. Anyone wants to add? Anyone wants to take any of their side? Like, was it Hanson Robotics or was it Facebook? Hanson Robotics. Hanson Robotics. Okay. So, a uh, Facebook. Um, React Native was created by Facebook. So Sophia, uh, unfortunately, wasn't created by Facebook. So yeah, hands-on robotics it was. Uh, third question for you is, okay, hands-on robotics from Hong Kong. Cool. So what is the wake word for Alexa? We'll talk about wake word, what is in detail. But I hope uh, you got the context. Yeah, because this actually comes in the skill. That is why I was asking you guys to come prepared with the skill. So what is the wake word for Alexa? It's Alexa, and then can you do something for me? Where do you use Hey Cortana? Anyone knows where do we use that Hey Cortana? Lenovo. So Lenovo has that uh, Cortana, and in that we are like so, something like Google Assistant. So we go like, hey, Cortana, can you do this? Can you do that? All right, cool. Another one, what type of tasks can Alexa perform? Playing music, setting reminders, controlling, OK, smart home devices, so all of the above, all right. Amazing. Uh, how does Alexa know what to do? Uh, what does Alexa like, do? So that it knows what is to be done. Alexa does not have a brain like human. So it uses machine learning algorithms. OK, it relies on pre program It reads your mind. It uses machine learning algorithms. So Alexa being a voice bot, it uses machine learning algorithms. It reads your mind. It does. OK, so can Alexa connect to the internet? So you have a few technical questions over here. So yes, but only through Wi-Fi. No, it's an online, offline device. Yes, but only through Bluetooth. Yes, through Wi-Fi or Ethernet. OK. Swara, when you say A, it's just Wi-Fi. Are you sure it does not connect through Ethernet or any other type of data? D. So it should be yes, it should be through Wi-Fi or Ethernet, any of them. Both of them are uh, data packets anyways. OK. Another one. Again, this one is from the skill set. So you might have to either you know, uh, just give a random answer or maybe just think, or maybe you might have heard about it. So what is the name of the service that allows the developers to create skills for Alexa? So you either might have heard about it or you might have actually went into the course and maybe got bored and then came back. Alexa developer platform, OK. What is the name? A, OK. Alexa skill sets, Alexa skill workshop. So B, A, and D, like these are the three answers. Anyone wants to add? Anyone wants to support any of the previous given? So A. B, A, OK. So it's A, guys. It's Alexa skill set. Alexa skill set is the service that actually allows you to create skills for Alexa. Last but not the least, again, this is related to the skills only. So let's see. What is the name of the feature that allows Alexa to understand multiple languages? So here is a wordplay done. Let's see. Is it multilingual mode, bilingual, polyglot mode, or multitasking mode? Multitasking mode, OK. Multilingual mode, OK. So it's D versus A currently, D again. Others, what do you think? It's D or A, or it can be anything A or C. A, OK. Anyone else wants to add?
So the answer actually is B, bilingual. The name of the service, the name of the feature is bilingual. Now let me clear this up. Bilingual refers to the ability to use, uh, to speak or use two languages fluently. When you talk about Alexa, <clears throat> in context of virtual assistants like Alexa, bilingual means that the assistant can understand and respond in two uh, understand and respond to commands in two languages for example alexa's bilingual mode or bilingual mode allows you to speak to alexa in both english and spanish without having to switch between the languages manually so the assistant can recognize and understand both the languages and respond ac accordingly in one go you do not have to switch so this feature is particularly useful for multilingual household. The feature name is bilingual, but it is useful for people, you know, who use more than one languages at home or who prefer to speak to Alexa in different languages or in different tasks. So the feature name actually is bilingual. That is how it goes. Okay. So that was about the quiz. One second. Why are people joining at six? Like after almost one half of the session is almost done. So there you go. Apart from the last one, everything else uh, seemed to be correct. So okay. And there are different advantages of using Alexa. Now let's not talk about conversational AI in general. Let's talk about uh, Alexa in uh, uh, detail. So the different advantages, first of them is hands-free convenience. That's one of the biggest advantages. That is, it allows you to control devices and access information without needing to use your hands. Voice recognition and personalization is the mm -hmm. second one. Alexa uses advanced voice recognition technology to listen to your voice and respond to your command. You have a different accent. Maybe I have a different accent. So, but how is Alexa able to, you know, understand all our accents so it can be personalized with your preferences and settings there is something like smart home integration alexa can be used to control a wide range of smart home devices from lights and thermostats to security systems and entertainment system easily automation and controlling of your home is done just with the help of your voice information and entertainment alexa can access a vast amount of information like i ton of information okay and entertainment content such as news updates weather forecast uh, matches being going on music streaming audiobooks etc so that's a great tool for staying informed and entertained apart from seeing it on memes third party skills and services alexa also supports a wide range of third party skills and services which will allow you to think, do things like order food again a third party app comes into picture book a ride Again, a third party app, control your finances with just your voice. So that was all about the different things using of Alexa. Now, when we go to the part two of today's session being introduction to skill. So what exactly is a skill? Now is when you will have to think since none of you has done the Alexa skill. It's time for you to think what can a skill be? You might have heard of it. So I want you to think a little bit and uh, make me understand what is a skill. Come on. You might have even used it, but uh, you are not sure if it is called as a skill. So time to put in your thinking caps. What is a skill, guys? Or in terms mm -hmm. of Alexa, what is a skill? If someone is uh, planning mm -hmm. to put it on chat, do not put it on uh, Discord chat. Put it on your normal chat on the meet. What is a skill, guys? Come on. Skill allows users to interact with Alexa. Voice user interface. Ability to understand sarcastic talks. Oh, I wish it could. Anyone else wants to add? I've just got three answers out of the 35 people present in here. What is Alexa? I need 35 different variety. Uh, what is Alexa skill? I need 35 different variety of answers. Come on. The ability to do something well. OK. OK, let me categorize it for you. Can Alexa switch on music for you? Yes or no? True or false, whatever you want to respond to. Can Alexa um, switch on the music for you guys? Yes. Yes, OK. 
can Alexa uh, you you ask Alexa to go to Amazon and add some random thing into cart? Can Alexa do that? You are like go to Amazon and add uh, you know something in the cart. I do not remember. Okay. Can Alexa go to the Uber app and book a ride for you if you ask it to? Yes. Now, can you modify your answer? These are skills. If I tell you that these are skills, now can you modify your answer a little bit? What exactly do you mean by skills? If I say these are three different skills doing three different tasks for you. So now can you maybe elaborate or tell me what exactly we mean by a skill? Come on. People who already answered, I want you to just elaborate a little. You are very close to telling me skills are like apps for Alexa. OK. So basically, Alexa has been trained individually, isn't it? Alexa has been trained in a different manner for all of these things. So mm -hmm. if you uh, debrief what a skill, so in the context of Alexa, skill refers to a specific or a dedicated voice activated capability or a function that can be added to Alexa enabled devices. Let me repeat. Skill refers to a specific voice activated capability or a function that can be added to Alexa enabled devices. Mm -hmm. Skills allow the users to interact with third party applications, as you said, right? And services through voice command. So what it will do, it will expand Alexa's capability beyond its built in features. Skills can also be thought of as voice activated apps, similar to mobile applications that can be downloaded and installed in a smartphone. So in a similar way, you can create a skill and install it in your Alexa, I mean, dump it in your Alexa, deploy it, and then use it. There are thousands of skills available for Alexa, ranging from ordering the food delivery to controlling smart home devices, playing games, and so many yeah. things. Skills can be added to Alexa by enabling them through the Alexa app or by using voice commands to discover and enable new skills. So today, we'll have a look at some of the skills. But as a part of homework, there are around 80,000 skills available for Alexa. 30,000 are from India only. So you can have a look at them. So now that you actually heard of what are skills and what is an Alexa skill, can somebody name any random five Alexa skill that you use or you might have heard of? We just uh, said a couple of them. So in a similar way, can you tell me a few more or if you can just repeat? the couple of uh, Alexa skills that we just spoke about. Escape the room. What is that used for? Escape the room. Getting weather report. OK. One I would like to go Alexa smart home. All right. One I would like to go is Spotify. Spotify is an Alexa skill, right? It allows you to listen to music, create playlists. One I also said was Uber allows you to hail a ride using your voice and track your driver's progress, etc. Allows the user to play. Oh, OK. Escape the room. Escape room, basically, that in Alexa. Pizza Hut, yes. That's a great skill to play the games. Escape room, third you gave, fourth you gave was Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut is actually a skill. Then what else? Weather reports are there. OK. You might have heard of Fitbit also. You see people tracking how many steps I have uh, completed today, all their health devices. Have you seen people then listen to audio, the daily show? Yes. Fitbit is also one of them. Fitbit. Uh, uh, people, yes, the workouts and all. I have never used it. I usually find people OK. I have only completed 500 steps. So I just see people using that. So that is, again, an Alexa skill. Mm -hmm. So let's try to play a small game wherein you have to guess the Alexa skill for me. I'll give you the skill. I'll give you the logo. You'll have to guess the Alexa skill for me. So let's start off with the simplest of all. Which Alexa skill do you think this is? You can put it in your normal chart rather than it being on this call. Spotify, the simplest of all. If Spotify wasn't there, if there was no Spotify, any other app would you recommend to be used as Amazon skills? Do we have any other music app that we can put as Amazon skill other than Spotify? Whitey Music. Whitey Music, OK. 
All right. Any more alternative? One Swarali gave. Any more? Seems like all of us just listen to Spotify only. OK. The second one. What skill is this? Now, this is not the actual logo. I might also map. OK. Ola Uber, yes. It will help you to actually hail a ride, pick up a ride, and actually Uber Ola. Cool. Everyone, OK. All right. It's Ola. Uber Ola. Any uh, service that hel will help you to go from a place to another place. The third one. Not sure if you will know the name. At least uh, you might be able to duff it. Smartwatch. Others? We are out of Uber and Ola now. Let's try to come out of the car and let's focus on the third skill, digital watch. So this one is Fitbit, the fit, and it will allow you to track your fitness goals and progress, as well as and access. In my smart access watch, it is known as Dafit. Oh, for me, it is known as uh, Fitbit. Uh, maybe personalization. Being an open source, it could have been personalized also. That is possible. Mm -hmm. So it will allow you to access personalized insights and recommendations. So cool. These were the skills with the help of logo. Now, what I would do is I would uh, give you the role of the skill and I would ask you if you know the name of the skill. So skill one, which skill allows you to control your smart lights and uh, set custom lightning scenes using voice commands? Mm -hmm. Have you heard of any skill that will help you to control your smart lights and custom? Uh, and set custom lighting screens, scenes using voice commands. I want the name of the skill. Do you know any skill name? People who have Alexa at home and are too lazy to get up and actually, you know, switch on, switch off the pants and all. So you might be using them. What's the name? Smart Home. Okay. Are you sure that's the name of the skill? Try to Google if smart home is actually the name of the skill. Because as I told you, you know, there are 80,000 skills. You might be using some that I might not be using. So recheck first and then uh, let me know. Others, do we know any skill that will help us to achieve this control smart lights and set custom lightning screens? No? So we have something called as Philips Who. Philips uh, Who is actually a uh, skill by Alexa and it will help you to uh, access things in your home, basically making it a smart home. This one, I hope everybody should be knowing. I'm not saying might be knowing, but should be knowing. Which skill allows you to order pizza and track your delivery using voice commands? Which is that skill? Mm -hmm. Domino's app, OK. Mm -hmm. Anybody else wants to add? Swarali says the skill name is Domino's. Anybody else wants to add? Mm -hmm. Seems mm -hmm. like a no to me. So yes, Domino's apps allows you to order pizza and track your delivery using the voice command. Mm -hmm. Last but not the least. Uh, this particular mm -hmm. skill, it will help you to locate your lost phone by ringing it using voice commands. So which is that phone that helps you to locate your lost phone? Find my device. OK. Hey, Google. Hey, Google is a skill by Alexa. Smart watch. OK. Mm -hmm. uh, I want the name of the skill. Find my device, I guess, is a skill. Ring my phone is also, I think, a skill. And mm -hmm. which I use is usually find my phone. It is a skill by tracker. It will help you to locate your lost phone, etc. So apart from that, you know, there are different skills, if you ask me. 
So the different skills are the Wall Street Journal is there, then there is Headspace. The Wall Street Journal, it provides news and analysis from the Wall Street Journal itself. Then we also have Headspace. Headspace is for offering guided meditations and mindful exercises um, to help reduce stress and promote relaxation. Everyone should have Headspace. It's actually a good one. Then there is Capital One. Capital One, uh, it provides account balance and transaction information, as well as the ability to make payments and you know check the reward points, etc. There was one more called Mastermind. So it offers a voice activated personal assistant that can help with tasks such as scheduling appointments, sending messages, making phone calls at scheduled times. Last one, if I am, I'll be speaking would be Geoparty. It offers voice activated version of popular game show, you know, allowing you to compete against players and test your t uh, trivia knowledge against them. So if you want to have a look at Amazon skill store, let me just share my screen. I mean, let me just share over it here. If you see, there are different, different uh, categories available. So when you go into communication, there will be so many skills available. And it's like never ending pages, you know, it just keeps on going. If you have a look at home services, the Philips who that we were talking about, you will be able to find all of that here. So these are the Amazon skill sets. So you can just have a look at it. I'll be sharing the link in the Discord. So there are around 80,000 of them. You know, there are around 80,000 uh, total skills out of which 30,000 are uh, from India itself. So that is what all the skills is about. So we have had an introduction to all the skills in the part two of today's session. We'll just have a, not a hands-on since not completed. We'll just have a theory on hands-on. That is what we will do. We look at the different terms. You know, if I give this response, what am I expecting? So that is what we will do. So before going to the break, let me just share a few links with you all. The first one would be one second the trust pilot so i would like all of you to first fill in this feedback this one is uh, not for today's session this one is for your experience with wisely wise as a whole so once you fill in this then i'll share the attendance with you all so first fill in acknowledge uh, once done then i'll share the attendance quickly then we can just take a 10 minute break and be back for the second half. So fill this up quickly, then I'll share up the attendance link as well. And this time you will have the access. I figured out what was the issue. Let me know once everybody has filled the trust pilot, then only I will be able to share the attendance link with you. Done, OK. Others shouldn't take more than a minute. All you have to do is sign in and if I'm not wrong, rating and description, I guess. And also, uh, let me not forget one important point. The next session when we join in for the next Friday session, please make sure that you are joined in from your laptop and not your mobile phone. As said, we'll be having all an, an, a hands-on session. So for that, a mobile phone wouldn't help. So please make sure you are on the laptop or the PC. Is everybody done with the trust pilot review? So that I can share the attendance. Yeah, only two are done. What about the other 20 plus people present?
Okay, so there you go. That's the attendance form. Uh, just let me know if it is accessible to you now. It should be. I changed the mm. settings, but still. Uh, let me know mm -hmm. if you are able to access it at least. All right, that's great, finally. So please fill in the attendance, and it's uh, 626. Let's be back by 635. Take a 10 minute break, drink some water, and be back for the part two for today's session, wherein we'll be discussing in depth about the terms used for skills. So fill in, take, uh, take a drinks break quickly, and let's be back, OK? Uh, current semester status is basically what semester you are in. First year, second year, or third. I mean, first sem, second sem, up to the eighth sem, whichever semester you are in.
Okay, I hope everybody is done filling up the attendance sheet. Done. Okay. Everyone is done filling up the attendance mm -hmm. sheet. If I just check, I can see 23. The 23 of you have filled up. If anyone is missing, you can just fill it up. Else, I think we are good too, because I can see more people and less number in mm -hmm. the attendance sheet as usual. Okay. So, yes. Okay. All right. So, let's begin then, now that we mm -hmm. are back. So, we'll be talking about some terms used in Alexa skills uh, that we'll be using, all of us. You can't. Why? You can't access is what you are saying. You can't access the link is what you are saying. If I, uh, I have shared the link once again. Can you try to open it once again, please? Anusha Rao. Because if it is opening for everybody else, it should open for you as well. OK. So uh, terms uh, that are used in Alexa skills. Uh, we use something called as intent. We use something called as utterances. We also have something called as slots, form, and last but not the least, just fulfillment. Now, whenever you are trying to create an Alexa skill, you have to provide all of those uh, things. So um, whenever you will be creating skills in the next session, we'll be talking about all of these things to be put in a hands-on manner. For today, let's just have a look at the definitions of them. Anybody over here has heard of uh, any of these five terms before, or this is the first time you are hearing? If, has anybody of over here heard any of these five terms? Yes or no? Because if you have, then let us hear it from you only. Has anybody heard about any of these first time? Okay. What about others? Okay. All right, then. So what is an intent? Let's start off with an intent. Intent represents an action that a user wants to perform, as simple as that. Please listen to me carefully because we have a quiz on all of these five things. Okay, mm -hmm. So intent represents an action that a user wants to perform. Each intent is then mapped to a specific set of sample phrases, which we call as utterances, that a user might say to trigger that intent. When a user says something that matches one of these sample phrases, Alexa recognizes the intent and takes an appropriate action. Let me give you an example. Book a hotel room is an intent that is an action that the user wants to perform. Uh, that is an intent that might be associated with sample phrases like, I want to book a hotel, book me a room for tonight, or can you help me find a room? That's an intent. So intent represents an action simply that a user wants to perform. Example, book a, book a hotel room is an intent, is the action I want to perform. The sample phrases that can be there. We, you and me, we can have different ways no, of actually speaking. So let's say I said, uh, I want to book a hotel. So Rali said, book me a room for tonight. Someone, uh, Shatija said, can you help me find a hotel room? Uh, Sai said, "Can uh, is there any room available for tonight? You see, we have different variety available. But all of them mean the same thing, right? The action is the same. That is called as intent. So can you guys give me an example of an intent and the different phrases associated with it? If you want me to give one more example, me going to, uh, uh, let's say, ice cream parlor, and I want to ask for a chocolate ice cream. So my action is to buy a chocolate ice cream. What will be the different phrases? Uh, do you have chocolate ice cream? Can I get a chocolate ice cream? How uh, For how much is the chocolate ice cream? The different phrases associated with the same intent that I have to buy the chocolate ice cream. Book me a cab. Cool, that is an intent. What are the different phrases associated with this intent of yours? Booking a cab is one intent. So what are the different phrases associated? Others. Give me an intent and the different phrases associated with it. Can you book a cab? Cool. Anything else you can think of out of the box? 
find me a cab okay is there a cab nearby okay cool so i hope the idea behind intent is clear so intent basically book me a table at the nearest restaurant yeah i want to book a cab yes guys so all of these phrases go into the intent mm -hmm. that the user wants to perform an action so step one is giving an intent second is utterances now utterances are the specific phrases or sentences that a user might say to trigger a specific intent you remember i said intent is an action and it has phrases associated with it these phrases are nothing but the utterances the more utterances you provide for an intent the better alexa can understand and recognize what to do example uh, the intent is i want to listen to the music the action is i want to listen to the music me to alexa alexa can you play uh, music alexa can you play a song alexa can you please play a song for me alexa can you play a song for zula alexa can you play a meditating song for me so the more utterances i give the phrases i give mm -hmm. for a particular intent the more um, you know alexa can understand or the better alexa can understand and recognize what i want to do for example book a hotel room let's stick with the same example is the intent some examples of phrases slash utterances can be i need to book a hotel room can you help me find a hotel or i would want to make a hotel reservation etc so every intent is followed by a variety of utterances the more the utterances the better alexa will understand your requirement third thing we have on the list is the slots slots are variables that represent specific pieces of information that a user might provide as a part of an utterance for example if a user says book a hotel room for two adults and a child so the slots might include that specific piece of information you know number of adults number of children etc so slots is that varying thing in that action action stays the same i want to book a hotel but for how many people for two adults one children or maybe for what date right variables the thing that keep on varying so that is called as your slots for example book a hotel room intent Uh, some of the examples might of the slots could be check in date check out date location number of guests or the room type the variable thing now you guys gave me an example of booking a cab and find me a table of the nearest restaurant can you try out some slots like what can be the slot values in them when you say find me a cab or i want to book a cab so can you think of any slot value slots is nothing but uh, things that are varying variable so whenever you are booking a cab what things can vary come on think about it you are booking an ola source and destination amazing that is what i was also thinking time cool and whenever you go to that uh, place where to go destination whenever you go to any app you see there is a range there is a mini there is a prime there is a sedan and all of that you also get to choose uh, the price also so can you book a table in the nearest mexican restaurant so mexican yes forecast forecast of what forecast of what can you also book a table for two of us whether acha okay at what time yeah 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 okay okay got it so depending on the weather forecast you will be taking uh, the right cold which vehicle is required auto car suv exactly so these are all slots slots are variables that keep on changing so i hope before we proceed to the last two that is forms and fulfillment the intent the utterances and the slots are clear are we guys clear with all the about three things that the intent utterances and slot these few things you know You actually have to put it while you are building an Alexa skill, because building an Alexa skill would require Alexa to be trained on some data. Who is going to give that data? You guys. So in order to create the skill, all of these things are needed. So are we clear, guys, with the first row, intent, utterances, and slots? Do we have any questions proceeding in the next uh, two of them? Any questions, guys? Any doubts? I do not know what is the answer to pin drop silence. I do not know if it's a yes or no. So, any doubts in the first row? Intent, utterances, and slots. No. Okay. Now comes to form and fulfillment. Let's talk about form. 
form refers to a collection of information from the user through a series of questions in order to fulfill a specific intent. And now think whenever I say form, just think about that form. You filled in a Google form, right? Form might include multiple slots that need to be filled out by the user in order to complete the request. So for the book or hotel room intent, the form might prompt the user to provide the check-in, check-out details, the desired locations, and room types, and a number of guests. So when you have multiple slots, we call it as a form, uh, like for booking a hotel. Usually when you go and book a hotel, there is just no one slot. Ki, yeah, we need it for two adults and one chair. It'll ask you so many slots, check-in, check-out, the type of room you want, you know, uh, the number of guests, and uh, the different uh, uh, locations at which you want the room, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that is when we uh, call it as a form. Last but not the least, we have fulfillment. Fulfillment refers to the action that is taken by Alexa to respond to users' requests. Now we are on Alexa's side. So fulfillment refers to the action taken by Alexa to respond to the users' request based on the information provided in your intents and slots all together. For example, if you have an intent book a hotel room, the fulfillment from the Alexa side might involve searching for an available hotel in the nearby location wherever you are searching that match the user's preference, basically booking the selected hotel and sending confirmation to uh, email to the user. So fulfillment mm -hmm. is the task on Alexa's side, not your side. Intent, utterances, slots, and form happen on the user's side. Fulfillment is the action taken from Alexa, I mean, by Alexa, from Alexa's side only. So these are the five terms you will be also using whenever you are working on the skill. You will only have to decide the intent. You will have to decide the various utterances, uh, if there are any va values, variable values, like slots, form, etc., and what Alexa will respond to. Of course, Alexa has been trained, right? When you ask, uh, hi, Alexa, uh, how are you doing? It responds something. It has been trained. It has been given an action for fulfillment. So these are all the terms used in uh, Alexa skills. Now, depending on this, first of all, let's have a small quiz, and then we'll go to the assessment. So if the five terms, mm -hmm. if all these five terms are clear, I'm giving you mm -hmm. some questions, and you have to answer it very uh, uh, correctly and very carefully. So make sure you do not mix up any of them. That is the reason I have only given only A, B, and C. There is no D option in that. Okay. So let's go. I want all of you to be on Discord. I'll just be posting. All of these questions will be on uh, intent, slots, form, fulfillment, and utterances only. Exactly the things we have studied right now. They might be mixed up. Uh, so let's go. The first one. So what exactly is an intent in an Alexa skill? What do you mean by intent in Alexa skill? Please make sure you're reading carefully before you attempt any of them. OK, for you answers, we have A, a specific action that a user wants to perform. Cool. Everyone agrees? All right. So what is an intent for Alexa skill? An intent is basically a specific action that a user wants to perform. OK, it is not really a command command. It's just an action that a user wants to perform. So now let's mix it up. After intent, I'm not asking a question for intent. Now let's just mix it up. Which of the following is an example of fulfillment in Alexa skill? Delivering a response to user's request, detecting and correcting errors in uh, user's input, customizing the response based on user's preferences. What is an example of fulfillment? A, OK. Others, what do you think? A, so delivering a response to user's request for information. Basically, fulfilling the user's request. Cool. So now that we are in the fulfillment, let's have one more question with fulfillment. So what is fulfillment in Alexa skill? What actually does it mean? What do you mean by fulfillment in Alexa skills? Yeah. 
Is it the process of delivering a response to user's request or detecting and correcting errors or process of customizing the Alexa's response to the user request, okay? A, A, yeah. So fulfillment uh, in Alexa's case is basically delivering a response to the user request, all right? Uh, a basic delivery of uh, the act of the output depending on the user's input. All right. Next, which of the following is an example of an intent in Alexa skill? What is the weather like today? Play some music. Order a pizza with pepperoni and mushroom. Which of the following is an intent? If there are more than one you want, you can. Uh, if you think that there are more than one, C, order a pizza with pepperoni and mushroom. A and C. Okay. All. A and B. So what is the weather like today? Others, let's see what are your inputs many of you are saying c many of you are saying a and c many of uh Neil is saying all play some music uh, is not an intent are you sure let's have a look at uh, one important question before we go to this one one second B, it's an intent, right? B is also an intent to no? play some music. What is intent? Intent is basically um, giving an action. I mean, telling uh, user telling Alexa what is the action. So don't you think all of them are technically correct? Play some music, being an action, order a pizza, being an action. What is the weather like today? Yeah. All right. So next we have what is form in alexa skill so what exactly is a form it is the layout of the alexa skill the way in which the user inputs information or the structure of the user's request b the way in which user inputs information all right so a form is a way or a layout in which the user inputs the information to alexa Now, we know about uh, this thing, intent. Uh, let's come to utterances. If I give you a basic idea yet again, utterances is the face, phrase uh, which you use to complete an action. So amongst these, which of them is the face, a phrase? Can you turn on the lights, goodbye, or what's the latest news? A. Can you turn on the lights is one of the phrase, right? So if I, if I want, if the user's intent is to turn on the lights, one of the utterances, one of the phrases would be, can you turn on the lights or can the lights be turned on or can you turn on this bulb? Cool. So that is one example of utterances. Next, let's have a look at what are slots in Alexa skills. So what exactly is a slot? A predefined variable that can be used to capture specific information, a way in which Alexa handles errors, or a way to create custom responses to users' request. A, predefined variables that can be used to capture a specific information. Variables because it can change. Your check-in, check-out dates, and all of them can change. Cool. Amazing. Uh, let's have... Which of the following is an example of a slot in Alexa skill? So play some music, what's the weather like today, or order a pizza with toppings. So which of these is an example of slot? See, the toppings can change. I can have uh, olives, I can have mushrooms, I can have corn, I can have pepperoni, zucchini, anything, right? Cool. So that is a slot, a variable that keeps on changing. Uh, which of the following is an example of form in Alexa skill? Uh, what is your name? Please enter your password or say yes to continue. B, please enter your password. B, so the user will enter the password, okay, all. 
say yes to continue b all b okay so people who are saying all when in the next session whenever we do uh, hands on on this let's have a try let's have a look at can we put all of these things what's your name please enter your password and say yes to continue as a form in elixir skill uh, remind us so that we can just have a look at an actual example for this last but not the least one more question what are utterances in elixir skills phrases that a user speaks to elixir to initiate an intent a way to customize the response which is given by elixir or a way to Alexa to end an ongoing conversation. A B. Uh, utterances is basically the phrases. So let's say my action is, uh, you know, like book a cab for me. So what are the different phrases? Can you please book a cab for me? Or you know, can you book a cab? Uh, can you book a ride for me? Can I? Is there a cab available? So utterances are nothing but phrases. To initiate a particular action or to initiate a particular uh, intent. All right. So I hope we are clear with all the five terms, including intent, utterances, slots, form, and fulfillment. Now that we know all of these things, uh, there is a small assessment. So I have a chat board. Okay. The chat board name is Book a Trip. That is the name of the chat board. You can name it whatever you want. So chat, this chat board is for travel. What you have to decide is you have to create a chat board for a travel agency and decide the attributes. Now, what are the attributes? We have all the attributes, you know, utterance, intent. We have a slot. We have an We have um, fulfillment. Then we have form, etc. So what I would do is uh, since we were actually supposed to create this today, but OK. So what I will do, I will try to, first of all, ask you a question. So you will have to think which of these is an example of utterance, which of these is an example of a slot and everything. All right. But before that, even before that, let's say you are just trying to create a chatbot for a travel agency before me giving you questions. Can you give me some examples of intents that the user might have for this chatbot if he's chatbot or voice bot, whatever you consider. So what will be the different intents? Let's start off with intent. So what will be the different intents that the user will have? You can put it in your normal chat on the Google Meet, or you can just unmute yourself and pick it up. So what will be the different intents for a travel uh, company voice bot or chatbot? Come on, think about it before I ask the question place date uh, intent intent is what i'm asking intent means what action would the user uh, you will go think that you have to book a particular um, trip or something so if you go to any particular website chatbot or voice bot what will be the action you will be performing or what specify will be the, the place where you want to go Specify the place where you want to go. Okay, book a hotel room. Uh, we are talking about intent, the action. So one of the intent or the action would be book a hotel room. Cool. Anything else? This is an action, right? I want to book a hotel room. Uh, what else? What are the other actions? Okay, so let's say we have one intent, book a hotel room. I think you mean cab, C-A-B. Reserve seats, yes, uh, flight tickets and bus tickets, OK? So we have three intents, book a hotel room, book a cab, and reserve seats, basically buy uh, the flight tickets and all. So these are the three intents, the three actions that the user needs to uh, perform. What do you think will be the different utterances? Let's start off with book a hotel room. What can be the different utterances or phrases uh, that would uh, that we would need? to initiate the intent, book a hotel room. Come on. Different in utterances, utterances or phrases. Snail said, book a hotel room. So what do you think? What will be the different utterances or phrases? Uh, 
I want to book a trip to destination. Cool, destination being a slot value. What else? What else can be the different utterances? Can you book a hotel room? Okay. What else? Room type becomes a slot. Find me a hotel room. Yes, one of the utterances. Anything else we can think of? OK, uh, let's come to the second one. Uh, reserve seats or bus or airplane. Can you book tickets? Yes. So can you book tickets can be one of the utterances for uh, flight tickets. I mean, book the flight tickets. Any more utterances for booking the flight tickets? Can you book the flight tickets from your two year on this date from that day? I mean, from this date to that day can be possible, right? So if you see, these are the different intense utterances. You also gave me some uh, slots also, like room type, destination, etc. Now let's go to fulfillment. Uh, what do you think? Uh, when you um, give an utterance, can you book a hotel room? What will be the fulfillment from Alexa's side? Fulfillment was the last step, no? So what will be the fulfillment from Alexa's side when you say, can you book a hotel room? It'll give you the uh, list of available flights or hotel rooms, OK? If I say, can you book tickets, That that's just it. If my intent is, can, uh, if my utterance is, can you book tickets, hotel names with available number of rooms, yeah. So that will be the fulfillment given by Alexa. Same with the flight names with the uh, timings and all, and from source to destination. So depending on all of these, I'll be asking you some questions. I'll again have to put it on Discord, show pride, see little prompt forms. Yes, with this information, cool. I'll actually give you a form for the check-in, check-out dates that you want to put. Amazing. So if you see here also, we have the form and the slots with varying values. So what I'll try to do is, for this assessment, I will be giving you some questions. And I will be putting it on Discord, since everyone is there. So I am trying to put it in MCQ mode. I think that will be easy for you to answer. So let's go. So posting the first question on Discord. This is for our assessment, OK, which was supposed to be hands on. So which of these is an example of an utterance for a trip booking chat bot? Which of these is an utterance for a trip booking chat bot? Book a trip to Hawaii. OK. Do we all agree with the four A's given by Avantika, Sushmita, Shruti, Samruddhi? OK, cool. So book a trip to Hawaii is an example of utterance. All right, that's great. Let's have another question. What is an example of a slot for booking a trip uh, chat board? What is an example for slot for booking a trip chat board? My favorite color is blue. The departure date, what's your age, or do you like pizza? What is the slot over here? The departure day, all right. So that being a slot, it can keep on changing every single time. All right. Next one. What is an example of a response for a trip booking chat board? Response means something that Alexa uh, can reply. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Your trip has been booked. What else can I help you with? Or my favorite color is green. B. Your trip can uh, your trip has been booked. Response for a trip booking chat board. Once at the end, every single step is done. It'll say your trip has been booked. OK. Next, uh, what is an example of an intent? Now we are talking about intent. The intent is tell me a joke, cancel my reservation, book a trip to Mexico, or what is uh, your favorite movie? 
see only see you can take as many as you like some of the questions might have multiple answers also b and c b can also be there no if you if you uh, like reserved a flight ticket and suddenly you remember oh uh, many of the times it happens that uh, the date or something is wrong so you will have to cancel so yeah b is also an example of an intent next let's go with um, example of a fulfillment for a trip booking chatbot so i'm sorry i can't do that your reservation has been cancelled what else can i help you with or i can't decide what do you want to do so which of these is an example of fulfillment fulfillment is the one from alexa's side b your reservation has been cancelled b a i'm sorry i can't do that okay b fulfillment when you say okay others b b and d d okay what did you ask alexa that it can't decide okay b most probably that if you, if your intent was uh, you know i want to cancel my reservation so the fulfillment message would be your reservation has been cancelled next what is an example of an intent slot for a trip booking chatbot so what is an example of a slot in the intent for a trip booking chatbot b the departure date so the slot variable that can keep on changing all right next what is an example of an intent utterance for a trip booking chatbot we are talking about intent utterance when you want to book a trip on the chatbot a i want to book a trip to hawaii cool that is an utterance for an intent of to book a trip all right next what is an example of a form for a trip booking chatbot what is an uh, example of a form okay please fill out your personal information when i say personal information basically many slots more than one so that comes under a form what is the example of a required slot for a trip booking chatbot required slot the one that is compulsory sometimes whenever you are taking inputs from the user like you you fill google form some of them are required without which you cannot proceed so this is one example of a required slot a and b so what's your name and departure date yeah name is also required and so is the departure date all right next we have uh, what is an example of a confirmation prompt for a trip booking chatbot a confirmation prompt okay. are you sure you want to book this trip if you say yes then is when it is confirmed so just before confirmation happening we have a prompt given up next uh, what is an example of a delegate directive for a trip booking chatbot meaning when i say delegate directive meaning what will um, alexa basically reply if you say i want to uh, a trip for these many people at this this date so what will alexa reply see let me check our available dates like if any flights are available cool last what is an example one second what is an example of a session attribute for a trip booking chatbot session attribute meaning in between uh, if it asks something so what would be an attribute that it will ask b departure date only b many of the questions might have multiple answers so you can just have a look d also right the number of travelers uh, session attribute is something that we put in the middle so that is basically departure date also and your yeah 
number of travelers as well. B and D, yeah. So departure date and number of travelers. Cool. So that was about our chatbot. So if you talk about building Elixir skill, we were actually uh, 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 when we actually meant to showcase this, all the things that you had created. But we'll do this in the next session. So please just make sure that you create an Amazon skill. So let me just show a few to you. So this was one I created later. So testing is one. So please make sure you go through it before I ask all of these questions to you, like what is an invocation? Then um, in the code, what is all this code for? We'll be talking about this in the next session. Then we'll also be able to test it. So while you are testing, you will have to give it a weak word. Like for me, it is open testing, I guess. So your test, uh, your skill name, I mean, uh, while you are testing, it should be same as your um, uh, your intent should be same as your skill name. So if you see in invocations, it will say skill invocation name. You will have to give, oh, my skill invocation name was hello world and not testing. So you'll have to go here and actually test it. And then you can go to code and try to, there you go. So if I say hello, it should be able to reply, reply something. So my reply was, you just triggered hello. If I say help, it will uh, tell me something else. So you'll have to go to code and try to change it. So all of this is present in the course, guys. So let me request you one more time. The next session when we meet, we'll be doing this all hands-on. So I will be giving you some problem statements like do this and show it to me. No theory in the next session. So you will have to actually uh, share your screen and do it and show it to me. If you have any issues, we'll have it uh, you know, looked upon in the class. Don't worry about that. But make sure in the next session, we are creating the Amazon scale, a couple of them. And then we meet in the session whenever we do. We will actually you know, get a hands-on. I mean, we'll actually work on some real-time skills. I'll be giving you some problem statements, and you will have to showcase mm -hmm. it to me. So this is done. Alexa skill quiz, we just did. One second. Mm -hmm. uh, we cannot do Alexa skill quiz today because of the things we haven't done. So we'll be con uh, completing this in the next session mm -hmm. then, since uh, no skills have been developed. So if we go to the end, First of all, uh, let me also share the batch with you, the Alexa master batch. Please make sure you keep all the batches downloaded so that you also have a link for them. I'll just put it in the chat box so here, and I'll also put it in the Discord channel. Lastly, coming to the homework for today. That is also based on skills. So uh, you have already shared the Trustpilot feedback. I'll share the feedback form in the end in a minute. So for the homework today, your task is to create a chat board that will help the customers order food from a restaurant. I'm not asking you to do any hands-on for this one. All I'm asking you to do is decide the following for the chat board. Intent, you should have at least five intents, OK? Utterances, you should have at least five utterances per intent. So you should have around 25 utterances. You should have at least 10 slots, 10 different variables that you will have in them. You should also have forms in them, you know, like what all variable values you want. You can combine slots and forms all together. That is not an issue. Then also make sure you, if you have five intents, you should have five fulfillments also. So your task today is to create a chat board and that will help customers to order food from a restaurant. How will you create it? Just create a Word file and you know note down the different intents. It will have the different utterances, slots, forms, and fulfillments. Currently, mm -hmm. don't do a hands-on on this one. First of all, go through the course, uh, which has all the uh, hands-on uh, code in that. Once you have gone through the course, then create a skill from the course. The course itself has a skill to create. 
So please make sure you create that skill. And when you come in the next session, we'll be able to showcase. You will be sharing your screen next time, not me. OK? So I have shared the feedback form link with you. I would like you to quickly go ahead and fill up the feedback. That is for today's session. This one is not for a wisely wise. OK? This one is for today's session specifically. So please go ahead and um, fill in the feedback form. Then we'll just proceed to in the session. Uh, do let me know if it is accessible, though. Can you access it? Anyone who opens, please first let me know if it is accessible, else I'll have to change the permissions. Yes, OK. So quickly fill in. Until then, I'll just accessible. Mm -hmm. That's great, finally. I'll just share this project with you on Discord so that none of you forget. The deadline will be Monday. Once everybody has filled the form, do let me know. Uh, you mm -hmm. can acknowledge it in the chat so that we can wrap up the session. Mm -hmm. Done. OK. Others, let's be quick as well. Done. OK. Mm. All right. Done. OK. That's great. Mm. So ready. I've shared the homework on uh, Discord also. So please make sure you have a look at Discord. Uh, please be active on Discord, uh, you know, when as and when you get time. And please make sure you check that at the rate everyone tag. When we, uh, you know, tag at the rate everyone, it means it will be something important, really important. So I have already tagged you in where should we post the homework. You can submit it. I mean, uh, once, let's say, you created the homework, let's say, for example, this one. So you have a Google document for that, right? Update the Google document on GitHub or on Drive, if in case uh, you uh, are not aware of uh, GitHub. So update it on Drive, upload it on Drive, and share the link in the Discord channel itself. How to join Discord group? I'll just share the link, Anusha. Just download Discord and uh, click on this link. So you will be taken to this channel. Oh, keep this link open in a new tab, just in case if you forget. So keep this link open in a new tab. All right. So guys, please make sure in the next session when you come, you have developed the Alexa skill because it is going to be a hands-on session for two hours. No theory, meaning we have enough of time to you know, focus on hands-on problem statements. So please make sure you have created the Alexa skill. And if you have any doubts, either ping me on Discord, or if the doubt is too big to be explained on Discord, bring it in the next session. All right. OK, then. So I hope the session was um you know understandable and it made sense to all of you so for it make for it to make more sense please make sure you go through the course whenever you come in the next session so then i'll see you guys in the next session till then enjoy the weekend and take care of